We begin tonight with breaking news. Three officers shot this afternoon in Joplin. KSN's Jessica Shear joins us live on the scene. Jessica, what can you tell us? Andy, this is just one of three scenes involved in this incident today and the final scene where the sole suspect was also shot. It started near the Buckle Clothing Store just before 1.30 this afternoon. That's near 4th and Range Line. Police say a disturbance happened there and then carried to a spot two blocks south of where I'm at. That's near Laura Lane. It then moved here to 9th and Connecticut. Three officers were shot in total and transported to the hospital. The suspect, as I mentioned, also shot by officers and transported to the hospital. Now, witnesses tell us some homes were hit by gunfire as well, but there is no longer a threat to the community as well. And the Missouri Highway Patrol will be investigating this officer-involved shooting. Andy, Senator Bill White did ask the Senate for a moment of silence earlier this afternoon in response to this incident. And a prayer vigil has been set for tonight at 7 p.m. at Cunningham Park in Joplin to pray for these officers involved. Now, now, the condition of those officers not released yet, and we'll, of course, have the latest and continue to keep everyone updated on fourstateshomepage.com. A somber day in the city of Joplin and a community in mourning as hundreds gathered on the campus of Missouri Southern to pay their respects to Corporal Ben Cooper. Jessica Shear shows us how the community honored his ultimate sacrifice. Today is a day of grieving. Hundreds of law enforcement and community members grieving the loss of Joplin Police Corporal Ben Cooper. Ben, remember his stories. Remember how he was excited about certain things and how we pulled jokes on Ben and how we laughed together. Folks, Ben will never be very far from us. The question is why? Why? Why did this happen? Why? Corporal Cooper was killed in the line of duty on Tuesday, March 8th, after responding to a disturbance call at a local shopping complex. I will not speak of the horrific act that brought us here today. Instead, I choose to focus on the sacrifice and a legacy of Ben Cooper. Ben was rock solid. I'd always told my wife if I ever get in a bad situation, I want Ben there by my side because I knew I'd stand a lot better chance of getting through it. And we'd been through a lot of times like that together. So it's such a shock for me. We've been through a lot of times together and we were somehow able to get through it every time. Those who spoke lovingly called him Coop, thanking him for his service and shared stories of their time with him. It's not just a profession, it was his calling. He tried to get away from it once, but couldn't. He came back. He truly loved this job and loved what he was doing. Coop made the ultimate sacrifice for this community, for his family, and for his brothers and sisters of the Joplin Police Department. Those that knew Coop well also knew that he was somebody who said exactly what he thought. He didn't hold anything back. If he thought something about you, he thought a certain way about you, you knew it because he didn't sugarcoat. Just love my buddy and I'm gonna miss him. Coop will be greatly missed. So I say Godspeed, Corporal Ben Cooper. We have the watch over the city and we have the watch over your family. Corporal Cooper received full honors for his ultimate sacrifice, hey. including a gun salute. Hey. Hey. A flyover. And his last call. Reporting in Joplin. I'm Jessica Shear. And this is the last call for the Joplin, Missouri Police Department call. Victor Jimmy Cooper. Radio 222. Just three days after laying fallen Corporal Ben Cooper to rest, Joplin police honor the second officer killed in last week's shooting. Officer Jake Reed's service was meant to make people smile and think of the good times. Jessica Shear shows us how everyone wants to remember him in a way that matches his infectious personality. This is the last call for Joplin Missouri Police Department. Officer Jake Reed, 
The silence following Joplin police officer Jake Reed's last call is deafening. Yes, while the clouds wept outside, the tears flowed inside the Missouri Southern Legate and Platt Athletic Center. Dear Jake, there is nothing to say to take away the pain of living in this world without you in it. Jake's mom, Emily, said earlier this week, there is nothing negative or sad about the way that he lived his life as we spoke about Jake. Officer Reed is remembered as loving, caring, friendly, and even funny. Jake had one of the biggest hearts uh, anyone I ever met. Um, he's always uh, checking on me, making sure. Um, and he's always there for me, even when I didn't want him to be. And of course, there can be no description of Jake without talking about Jake's sense of humor, so I'd like to focus on that. Chief Sloan Rowland sharing stories of how quirky Jake and his spirit truly were. A couple months ago, I had a knee injury, so I had to ride the elevator up and down for a while and couldn't take the stairs. And I see Jake coming down the hallway at me, and they say infectious grin he had. I say mischievous grin because he was always grinning. He looked at me and started grinning. I said, good morning. He said, hi. As he rounded the corner, he said, are you taking the elevator? I said, yep. He goes, yeah, you need to save those hips at your age. You would let me watch South Park with you and laugh until our stomachs hurt. You taught me how to play video games as if I was your young protege. Officer Reed's decision to be an organ donor and save more lives was also highlighted. Through this act, Jake saved the lives of numerous people around the country. My fervent hope is that someday those individuals will learn of this remarkable man and honor him with a life well lived. His friends reminding everyone to live like Jake lived. Don't stop doing the things you love. Don't stop golfing, watching football, watching baseball, or video gaming. Jake wouldn't want that. Instead, do these things with a purpose and think of Jake while you're doing these things. So today, Jake, we, we lift you up. We honor everything about you. We cherish you. We love the time that God gave us to spend with you, and we thank him for that. The past week has felt like a miserable movie. One in which the hero never recovers. In Joplin, I'm Jessica Shear. It was, and it is a privilege to be your brother, to be loved by you. You have saved countless lives. A dark day for the city of Joplin and its police department. Three officers shot in the line of duty. We spoke with witnesses who saw today's tragedy unfold. Yeah, it was a scary experience. I witnessed it all firsthand. Levi Hendricks was trying to move into his new apartment at 9th in Connecticut when the suspect in Tuesday's officer-involved shooting appeared before him. The whole thing unfolding before his very eyes. Pointed a gun at me, and I just dropped everything in my hand. I closed it upstairs, and I look out the window, and I saw him hop in my van, and. That's when the cops started to unload on him. It originally started around 1.30 Tuesday afternoon at 4th and Range Line near the Buckle Store in response to a reported disturbance. At that location, a um, encounter with the suspect occurred. Shots were exchanged. JPD saying the suspect shot two officers at that scene. The suspect then fled in a stolen police car. Pursuit ensued. Suspect ended up in the area of 9th and Connecticut. Police say the suspect then wrecked the patrol car and fled on foot. My wife was getting ready to go to work. So as she stepped out and she saw the perpetrator by the fence and she knew something was wrong. Additional shots were exchanged with officers. One officer was shot at that location before the suspect was then shot. He shot several, several rounds, and there was a pause, and then there was the police started shooting at that point. The Missouri Highway Patrol will now step in to investigate the officer-involved shooting, including a third scene a couple blocks away from 9th and Connecticut. Some of the houses have quite a bit of bullets in them, but uh, luckily no one's injured.
And that witness clearly intending that no civilians were injured. But as we know tonight, one officer has succumbed to his injuries and died. Another officer in critical condition and a third officer has serious injuries but is stable. The suspect is dead.